Hi, this is Steve Rothstein from Rothstein Model Trains. Hope y'all are having a good holiday weekend if you're here in the U.S. or someplace where we celebrated Thanksgiving this weekend. I uh, came down to my son's house where our layout is for Thanksgiving and we were looking at the trains and decided to try an experiment to answer a question I've seen asked a lot of times and that I hadn't mentioned before. The question is exactly how many locomotives can you run on one DCC command station at one time without needing power boosters. Our layout is in an 8 by 16 shed so the longest run we have is about 15 feet of track in one length. The track goes around so it's about 60 feet total to make a lap. But I run a lot of trains and I run long trains and we were having some problems with some. So today we start an experiment we're going to try and show you how many you can run. The command station I use is the Digitrax Zephyr, the DCS-52, which is their latest version. It has one limitation in it that will affect you, which is its memory only holds train, 10 trains at one time. I've got a spare throttle, which lets me hold more than that in there, so we could do this. Um, and what we found out is that the answer is kind of, it depends. Of course, we knew that if, it, if you have sound, that'll change it, because uh, sound draws more power out. The, the Zephyr puts out three watts of track power on NSCAP, which is what we've been using. And the reason I started this was I'd mentioned before I had a couple spots where it looked like I was having losing power to the train they were slowing down um and there's two possible solutions to it one is running more bus wire connectors more train drops to connect the track to the bus wire from the zephyr and the other is to actually put in a power booster we did ask our local hobby shop to get us a power booster and they've got one on order when did track sends it to them and we'll see if that makes a difference so today we tried putting locomotives, just locomotives. Now, I understand this is not quite a fair test because locomotives with no cars on them don't draw as much power as when they're hauling the load. It's just the way things are, just like real trains. They, they have the power to pull. But we got up to about 12 trains on the track. I'm going to show you this. Uh, we did find a couple of our trains, and this is part of where it makes a difference. A couple of our locomotives are a little more sensitive to the drop in power of having multiple on there. They run fine when I only have a few locomotives on, but they start losing power and getting in, uh, losing signals when there are a lot. So let's start this up. And we should see them coming around. Oh, we down the track level at that park there. And so the first one coming around is our scale train's big blow turbine engine. It's actually two locomotives to the set because it's got power in both of them. The steamer is just one locomotive with the tender. The E8s are two locomotives connected back to back. That's how I run them with the train. Here you have an E8 and two E9s, three more locomotives. Again, that's how that consist runs with the train. And we have another one where it's an A and a B unit coming around. And what we're trying to do is manually sink them all to the speed of about 50 scale miles an hour. Couldn't leave them all at top speed because couldn't control them react. Also, they have different top speeds. This one is our GG1, my favorite electric train of all time. And that's in Pennsylvania Railroad Liberator. I just like it. That's the only one on the track right now that does not have a sound card in it. Uh, 
we may end up upgrading that to a sound card eventually, but we may not. And the final two coming. One is our original train that we started with. It's the Santa Fe F7 that came with our freight set that we started with. The other is the E8 that came with the Chicago Northwestern train set that we got. That my wife rode, we call it the grandma train. And that's about it, and you see all 12 of them, but we are pulling 12 locomotives, 11 of them have sound cards, and they're all running correctly. They didn't get them quite synced right. They bumped and have been locked on one, but... <laughs> So as you can see, so as you can see, you can run at least 10 N scale locomotives with sound with no problems off the digital track Zephyr on this much track. If you get much more track, you'd have to have boosters because of the track resistance. Um, we have a couple that were a little more sensitive and stopped running when we put too many on. So we took those off to see how many our better running locomotives could do. Uh, when we tried this the other day, we actually got up to 17 locomotives, but we started having trouble and that's why we came back down. I, I took it down. And I'm gonna say 10 is a realistic answer for what you can run. And after we get the booster, we'll tell you whether it's really a booster that helps or if I really just need more wire drops. So that's the answer to a question a lot of people ask. I see it on the uh, computer, on the forums a lot. We had that question, figured the best way to get an answer is to try it. I hope it was helpful for some people. If you have that question in your layout, this is the way to find out. Try it and see. Thank you for your support, we appreciate it.